Hello, friends. In this video I would like to show a small overview of my carpentry workshop, which is located on the basement floor. I have access through the garage. Immediately on the right side I have the lathe located. Wood lathe. Next. We're the ones with the oscillating drum grinding machine. I mean, the drum goes like this. And there he is. This is where I place the drill press. I made a cabinet for it to store all kinds of drilling accessories. Here I have homemade clamps, conductors. There's a grinding little bit of material here. There are drills and all sorts of fixtures downstairs. One of the main machines is the sawing machine. It is very thorough and it has the option of attaching a router table. I use a router with a 12 mm collet. There is also an aspiration system connected here via a chip evacuator like this. It is wired to all the machines that are on this side. Next is the stand with the clamps. Here are the tires for the plunge cut circular saw, trim saw, end table, sanders. This is where I keep the abrasive. Handheld circular saw. There's tool cases, a case with a power sander. This is where I keep the small clamps. Here are the fixtures from KWB Linemaster. Above the facing table is a storage area for various fasteners. I also have pencils, knives, personal protective equipment, nails for the nailer, and so on. And the screws, which I use a lot. I have empty cases here. Case with fasteners, bolts and nuts. Glue. That's where I keep my DeWalt plunge cut saw. Here is a dowel milling machine from the company Maffel. This stand of screwdrivers and some cordless tools. I have a cordless power drill, four screwdrivers, one screwdriver. Something's stuck. It's a screwdriver and a screwdriver. Magnetized attachments for kitchen knives. This is where I keep the bits I need always on hand. And the bits that don't fit in those cases. There's a cordless charging station, cordless jigsaw. Personal protective equipment, large coiled forstners, earpieces, milling circlet. This is where the small sundries are stored in this section. There's also a workbench. Under the workbench is a compressor, emery board, various angles, marking tools. The workbench stores chisels, various tools and consumables. And all sorts of stuff that's needed in the job. This is where the vacuum cleaner was placed. By the way, there's a vacuum cleaner under the miter saw too. It's attached automatically. When you turn on the miter saw, this vacuum cleaner comes on right away. I use this vacuum for sanding and for cleaning the room. 
This is also where the jointer is located. Above it are the chancers, screwdrivers, mallets, scissors. There's all kinds of hacksaws, rulers, planers. A saber saw is placed in the very corner. There's also a charger for the devolt. Here is the button to activate the forced ventilation. There is also a jointer machine with a pedestal. I also store band saw blades and discs in the drawer. Plate grinder. Body clamps and pipe clamps are stored here. And a band saw. All machines are also connected to the aspiration system. Going into the neighboring rooms. This is where I have my milling bench. I keep my router bits and cordless router here. The aspiration system is activated like this. I also have a small warehouse located here. That's the workshop. And here's another workbench centerpiece. It's a simple, plywood thing. And I keep some more clamps in here too. 